The word hospice is a term that dates back to the medieval times when hospitality shelters were available to provide for sick and weary travelers on long journeys. As we wind down our 2015 Year in Review episode, we thought we would take you on our own journey through the sights and sounds of Cornerstone Hospice as it made its positive impact on its clients and throughout the community this year. Cornerstone Hospice celebrated their third annual Evening Beneath the Stars in Central Lake County with a signature fundraiser at the home of Romac company owner Dan Roebuck and his wife Iris. A record 260 attendees honored Sarah Jane Hewitt of Hewitt Contracting Company for her contributions to our local community. The hoedown on the back 40 boasted vibrant sunflowers, pumpkins, and fall decor. Bidders helped to raise over $20,000 with the help of volunteer auctioneer Mike Graves, public defender for the 5th Judicial Circuit Court. And guests gathered round to enjoy the melodious, string-tickling sound of the Blackwater Bluegrass Band. The event raised a total of $53,000, which will benefit the Tavares Hospice House and Hospice Care in Central Lake County. Speaking of the Tavares Hospice House, they were the proud recipients of a facelift this year. Cornerstone's newly renovated facility holds the distinction of being Florida's longest operating hospice house in the state. The facelift included all new decor, flooring, paint, furniture, and greater privacy for patients and their families. From butterflies to man's best friend, the third annual Wagon Walk drew hundreds of animal lovers and their canine partners to beautiful historic Lakeside Inn in Mount Dora. Attendees enjoyed a scavenger hunt, silent auction, the Swift Paws lore course for dogs, and learned about pack life with a local dog whisperer, Todd Langston. The event raised money and awareness for Pet Peace of Mind, a national program that allows hospice patients to keep their pets with them throughout their end-of-life care. And it was the celebration of life that Cornerstone Hospice patient more tightly believed in. We brought you his story a few months ago after he was diagnosed with a terminal brain mass. On June 13th, he donned a Hawaiian shirt and straw hat and threw a big party for 80 of his closest friends and family at his home on Lake Dora. Mr. Tiley said he wanted people to remember him for having a good time. Mr. Moore Tiley was 94. For more information on these events or to find out more about hospice and the palliative care services available at Cornerstone, follow the Cornerstone Events story link on our homepage, yourhometownhealth.com.